Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Greed, if you take this Kassadin pick here, because you're playing against Nazir, who is the pushing, punishing player in the LCK and Chovy. He's going to take the edges that Azir has in the early game of this matchup. He doesn't have a refillable to wash it down with. I think his mouth might be a little bit dry <laughs> after that biscuit. As here we go, goes pop once again. King going in for the dive door and in a bit of trouble as he does not have his flash back up. This is looking pretty elementary as that will be the first blood given over to Kingen in the solo kill as no snipe comes out from Viper. Onto the lack. Yeah. In that game yesterday with T1, where Gumakaria had some skirmishes. It's okay, this oh time boy. Doran's going in. And the flash is down, and it doesn't matter anyway. Doran is just getting kind of rocked up here. Kingen is back in form for yeah. this game, and Doran does not know what. So, Hanma playing on this win condition so extremely well. Pays handling the pressure a little bit poorly here on the Lucian, but I think it's more about Viper playing it well. Still has Barrier, by the way. Hasn't really been needing to use that one because he's just like, please give me. A all the uh -oh. pieces. Oh, King Knight, guess what? As, okay. Gonna be forced to use that. Looks like Zeko is on cooldown as King is going in. I don't know about that one, but he's looking for the kill. He nearly gets Doran, who goes into the Mininar right at the end, and that was a little bit scary. But they do get the kill in the end. Thing is, that doesn't matter. You know, he will it's be a arrowed or chained of corruption um, or blocked by Clid, so he doesn't have a lot of power on that bottom side. Okay, that was denied. The hop is kind of funny as, okay, that's a lot of CC though, as Peanut will follow up. Life goes down once again. Second Cyclone is huge, and Zeka doesn't quite have the damage just yet to follow up on this one. Gen G find an excellent fight, as it looked like Doran got caught, but no, he was just baiting them in. Uh, Doran with an R-bar buys so much time. Peanut comes over. It's basically this weird slow wombo combo of CC. See, and now, valuable gold here on this turn. We're going to see a TP. And I guess that will be enough, but Gen G, they got themselves back in the game with that one away from the Chains of Corruption. Both sides have a decent amount of CC, but Helma Life more so as played in the front line. We'll get that ult onto Peanut, who nearly will survive, nearly gets sniped as Pace goes in. Not sure about that, buddy. Uh, hmm. Very, very far forward, and Pingan is, is an unkillable. I Die. He wanted to ultimate the Oh, pit. nice from Doran. Gets over the wall. Gets the Cassidy in as well as they're trying to lock down Zeka. And they will. And Kingen will also go down. Doran just immediately gets spanked in lane. Doesn't matter. Pulls it immediately back in the next two team fights. Kingen really wanted to pull him into the pit there, but actually causes a big problem for Hanwha Life Esports. Gives Doran the opportunity to set up for that late NAR ultimate and actually turn this fight around. I think if you just let him walk away there, or if you can get the angle to push him into the pit, it looks way better for you. But they always, they stay too long, overextend, and Genji grab this Baron. And man, the early game for Hanwha was so good, and they did yeah. everything right. And it's too good to be true. I'm gonna say it again. I, I really think tunneling on on killing Doran on the top fight on that second herald is a mistake any team could make. With the vision they had, I can let that one go. But fighting for third Drake when you already have a two Drake lead, just like take the extra. He might be getting some pog votes with how well he is playing these team fights out. Yeah, and he's Look been swing. He's been the reason why Genji have won those last two fights. Top side the tunnel on him. The second time here for King and not able to isolate him the way he wanted to. He turns that play around with the crush into the ult there. Hits two, Chovy gets a triple kill, suddenly the Azir's online, yeah. and Genji have full map control and a Baron buff. And how life just playing, how many times can we fight before Rod is done for the Cassidy? Not a game you want to play. Clit is going to get caught here. As you know, he's very tanky, but not tanky enough. Not against a super, supremely fed Chovy Azir. Kingen, so he has the protection, he can just warp over. <laughs> Will Doran die is the question. It is three on two, and Peanut's doing a pretty decent job on the king end, as now Pace will get over here first. Nice knock up to stop the culling. Not gonna matter, as Peanut will survive, and they take down king end. They commit to stopping experience here in mid, but the Drake goes over. Doran gets to freely rotate top. No pressure here. Baron's not up for 75. If Baron was up, maybe he's <laughs> right now. So. Kingen is out of the fight now, and that's one way. You just kind of group up in the general direction of Baron and take an inner turret here. And here and Lucian has now, just like that, they're going to go straight onto this Baron. Zeka has Smite. He's going to be too late. Yeah, he's not going to get here on time. And they get nothing with the, with Kingen on the side, unfortunately. It's Krugs. <laughs> Krugs for Baron. 
Um, but they can't commit to this fight. They need without... to use it here to find a pick. Where's the follow-up? Okay, well, Viper is gonna go down as, oh man, a double kill as Paige just gets in there and Zekka can't do anything. Just immediately melted as Clint is ulting the wave, I guess. Doesn't matter, as his team is just gone already. That is gonna do it for game number three. Gen G with Triple Infernal and Super Fed Jovi alongside of Pace, who eventually hit his spikes and did insane amounts of damage. A little bit anticlimactic, but Gen G were in the lead the whole way since the mid game, and they are going to take down this Nexus. Torin with the claps, as he was the one who clapped in that game. So much tunnel on him.